Good morning, HSC baseball coaches and administrators. My name is Spencer Eich, and I'm here today to talk about your spring break policy. Are you looking to win a state title next year? Do you want your athletes to perform at their highest ability? One way to make this happen is to allow your students, students and athletes to go on spring break. Last year, we played 33 games in a span of two months, which is around four games per week. With all that playing, our bodies break down and injuries are more frequent. As a catcher, I throw the ball more than anyone on the field while staying in a continuous squat for most of the game. According to Ben Lindbergh of Baseball Prospectus, as the year goes on, the velocity on catcher's throws and their ability to get on base and hit for power decreases significantly due to the wear and tear on their bodies. Bob Brentley, a former MLB catcher, said this about catching. By the end of the season, I feel like a used car. In order to keep bodies, our bodies in performing condition, we need to have a break. I believe we should be allowed to go on spring break because we, be, we will allow our bodies to fully recover so we can perform at our best ability, relax our minds, which reduces stress, and, makes, and make us happier, which will make us more determined to win. Most people think that only exercise training will increase your performance level. However, one of the most important, essential, and often overlooked factors of high-level performance is rest and recovery. Four games a week, that's a lot of continuous stress on our bodies, and recovery is necessary to maintain our body health. However, most athletes and coaches have a tendency to overtrain because they feel guilty on their days off or want to keep practicing to sharpen their skills for the postseason. According to Elizabeth Quinn, sports medicine expert, overtraining weakens athletes and causes them to have a decreased performance on the field. With overtraining, your muscles continue to break down without sufficient enough time for them to rebuild. This results in a general feeling of exhaustion, depression, and even gives you an increased risk of injury. Mark Jenkins at Rice University has conducted many studies on athletes with this overtraining syndrome. And the results show a decreased performance in the exercise testing, decreased mood state, increased stress levels, and an altered immune system. The solution to this? Proper recovery time. It allows for muscles to repair, rebuild, and strengthen while replenishing our energy stores. If you allow us to go on spring break, our bodies will be fully recovered and ready to play. Although spring break will allow our bodies to heal, it will also help our minds recover as well. So I've talked to you about the, the physical benefits of spring break. Now I'll talk to you about some of the mental. Student athletes are subjected to great amounts of stress every day because of many factors. For me personally, the biggest stressor in my life is, is lack of time. I'm always constantly staying up or waking up early to try to finish my homework because of a game or a practice. However, lack of time isn't the only stress that student athletes face. Many stressors include schoolwork, pressure to win, coaches, anxiety, and frustration. Mary Pritchard of Boise State University says 50% of male athletes say that stress associated with sports participation significantly affects their health. And 10% of college athletes suffer from psychological problems that are severe enough to require counseling. Sports and academics, that contributes a lot of our stress and it can really affect our play on the field. These increased stress levels can cause athletes to have a lack of energy or enthusiasm and even cause them to burn out. By allowing us on spring break, you'll be letting our minds take a break from the game. This lets us, ha lets us have time to enjoy with our families and spend time with the ones that we love. Personally, I play my best baseball when I'm relaxed. However, letting us go on spring break will not only make us happier, not more relaxed, but it will also make us happier. Every other team at HSC is allowed to go on spring break. This is ups it's upsetting for me to stay back in Fishers when my family goes to Florida because spending time with my family is really important to me. I surveyed everyone, every returning varsity baseball player, and they all said they wanted to go on spring break for at least a week. You would please all your players and make them more and make them have a more positive outlook on the season. According to Remez Sazen, founder of Success, uh, Success Consciousness, having a positive attitude leads to success, optimism, and confidence. It can motivate you to accomplish goals or overcome adversity. This positive outlook will make our team better because we'll be more confident, optimistic, and resilient. Lastly, if, you were, if, you, if we were allowed to go on spring break, our, to, our team would win more games because we would feel recovered, relaxed, less stressed, and have a positive outlook on the season. Our muscles would be allowed to repair, rebuild, and strengthen, and our minds would relax and it would take away some of that daily stress that we're faced with. It also make us happier, which would make us more confident and resilient. 
If you want our team to, to succeed, you need to let us go on screen break. As a wrestler, I understand the importance of rest and recovery. I wrestle my best after a week of healing and relaxation. I can imagine us dogpiling on the victory field. I can imagine the jubilant faces of my teammates. And I can imagine us holding up that state trophy. Let us go on spring break, and the chances of us winning a state title will increase tremendously. Thank you.